Hey guys, I'm back in the last part unlocked Monk Walls level 10 weapon. And now we're gonna unlock another one. And the next one we're gonna get is Jurongs. So Musa mode is not required, so do it in free mode. We gotta go to Shu Chong. Play the battle with Shu Chong under the Naman forces. And obviously as Jurong. And I'll show off the fifth mod like always. Alright, here we go. So we know the objectives. The equipment, the weapon, or the magma wheel, level 9, the items. Uh, I'm going to swap out the 7 star sash for the peacock urn, and I'll add the elixir. I'm definitely going to need it for this stage. Anyways, uh, the bodyguard to leave it to, unit info. For the Naman forces, you have Monk Wall and Dang Tuna, Zhu Rong, which is me, King Wu Tugu, and Yang Kai. Delai Dongju, King Wulu, Gao Ding and Ahui Nan, King Duosa, and Meng Yu. For the Wave Forces, you have Cao Cao and Jia Xu, Sima Yi and Sima Zhao, Zha Ho Dun and Cao Hong, Cao Pi, Deng Ai and Hu Zhe, Cao Zhen, Cao Xiao, and Meng Chang. Alright, let's do it. So, to get Zhu Rong's level 10 weapon, here's what you have to do. First off, you have to make sure the siege ramp actually gets to shoot Chong. If it gets destroyed, you're screwed. So make sure that ramp goes up, and you have to defeat the following four officers slash generals, generals slash officers, whatever. You have to defeat Meng Chong, Cao Hong, Cao Zhang, and Zha Ho Dun. So, I would recommend you saving Zhao Dun for last, especially for the fact that it will trigger, um, it will trigger Cao Cao's uh, final stand, so to speak. So uh, that little cutscene, I think you know, you know which one I'm referring to. But anyways, so we'll go for Mon Chang first, and we'll take it from there. Anyways, Mon Chang is down. Definitely need to make sure that that siege ramp actually uh, goes up. That's a biggie. The rest, I'm not that worried about. Because I know I'll be the one winding up defeating them all. So, that's just me. Eh. You know what? In the meantime... Oh, there it is. Never mind! I'm going to have to do it now. Taking the castle will be easy now. As expected, let us begin. Enemy to the rear. We won't be able to hold them. If they destroy the siege ramp, getting in won't be easy. Let's start it carefully and finish this. So far, so good. Alright, so I'll defeat Cao Hong right here. Or have him go in a completely in the opposite direction. Running, pulling off a Dynasty Warrior 7 for some weird reason. Anyways, that was weird. Alright, now I'm going to bolt over to the Supply Depot. Defeat Cao Zhang. As well as Shu Shu. Then we'll take it from there. And there we go. You know, I'm actually surprised that Simi hasn't commented that I went strictly for the, uh, Siege ramp, but uh, I could actually foil both of his boys because I really went straight for one of them and I didn't go to the other one in time. But, anyways, uh, this Sao Zhang will defeat him next. That's a massive fucking combo. 
Alright, Sao Zhang is down. I'll take that, and I'll head for Shuju now. Gotta make sure that I don't, uh, there we go. Yeah, let's wait a second. There we go. Shit. That's gonna hurt. Well, not really, but you get what I'm saying. That was not supposed to happen. Well, at least the supply convoy won't be taken over unless, um, I think it's the King Wu to go. Cheap shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm done with that bullshit. There we go. Much better. Uh, Delai Dongju, if he falls, then it's taken over, but, uh, that hasn't happened. Anyways, Shuju's down. All I have left now is Jaho Dune. When it comes to the weapon. But, um, I'm gonna take my time with that, because I definitely want to defeat the rest of the troops over here. I really want to make sure that Jack Hui actually appears. Um, yeah, I want him to actually appear before Cao Cao's cutscene. So, let's take my time with that. We'll head over to, uh, well, is Sima Zhao over there? He is. Okay. But well, I'll defeat the others first. Or maybe I should go for, uh, yeah, I definitely should go for, uh, Sima Zhao. Because he is over there. Uh, Monk Wall is over there. So, if he dies, I'm screwed. Anyways. Since Sima Zhao is actually not there yet, we'll take care of the other troops from now. We'll defeat uh, Sao Zhen and uh, Sao Xiao. And note, there's a bit of a difference when it comes to officers and, well, mostly generals in this stage. I don't know why I keep on saying officers first. Um, if you're playing this under either Wu or Shu, then instead of Sao Zhen, it'll be Zen Ji. Instead of Sao Pi, it'll be Dian Wei. But instead of Peng Da, who usually appears once you enter and attack uh, Sao Pi or Dian Wei, depending on which stage and which uh, forces you're playing under. In my case, it'll be uh, Sao Pi. Uh, Sao Ren will be here instead of Peng Da. So if you're placing two playables with non playables, but you're placing one non playable, with a playable. That, try to say that five times fast. Anyways. And there we go. Sao Xiol is down. Maybe I should go for Zhao Doom right now. Well, you know what? I'll defeat Sao Pi's officers first. Hey, over there. And we still have that, so that's great. Enemy troops. Engage at once. They must not pass. We won't be able to stop them this time. We'll have to be capital fast. So far, so good. 
I took a chunk out of Dung Eye's health. Alright, Dung Eye is down. Now it's going to defeat Simba Zhao before he takes out Meng Wu. And we're running out of troops anyway. Well, generals. Anyways, now that we have done that, we'll go for Simba Zhao. I'm not worried about the supply convoy or deport. Depot, I should say, not convoy, depot. Right about now. So, uh, we'll just go and make sure that Simba Zhao does not kill Monk Wu. But I'll say, if I'm not mistaken, the commander takes a bit of a long time to fall. Doesn't matter which side you're playing under. But, um,. There's Simba Zhao to defeat him now. Alright, let's go for Jakoi. Monk Huo should be fine. Should, not will. Really? That was the ultimate flop. Alright, that will finish him off. His morale, that morale is dropping like there's no fucking tomorrow. Holy shit! What's the morale at? Nothing. One. Okay. That's still bad. Anyways, uh, since Monk Wall is actually not attacking anybody, let's go and defeat Jaho Dune and trigger this cutscene. Not this duel. <laughs> I'm talking about Sal Sal's cutscene. Definitely not this one. Alright, that'll finish him off, and now we'll go and defeat what's left of South South's troops over there, and we'll take it from there. Because at that point, all I have to do is defeat South South, and that's it. But because of that, what I just did there. There will be a uh, gunpowder uh, gun attack. Maybe I should do this. Um, okay. And 
now I'm surprised the cutscene hasn't happened yet. Not that I'm complaining. I am definitely not complaining. Especially for the fact my allies got a morale boost. That's a lot of battle axes over here. Once again, I'm not complaining. <laughs> Should be fine now. So I will go and defeat Hoosier. There we go. Hoosier is down. I'm going to finish this off. I'll go for Simi Yi, then Sao Sao, and end the stage. There we go, we defeated uh, Jiashu. And now this will occur. As you know, it was only a matter of time. My lord, please withdraw. No, and close the gate now. If this is my destiny, so be it. All right. So before I do anything else, let me make sure I defend Meng Huo properly before I you shall be thwarted. do anything else. We can't fall behind. I mean, Meng Huo should be fine, but I am not taking any chances. See what I mean? So let me make sure I actually keep Mung Wall alive for a bit. Yeah, you see, he's starting to lose some health. Yeah, that'll help a little bit. Alright, now let's go and try to bum rush and defeat Simi Yi before the clock runs out on my uh, battle axe. I don't think it's going to, but it's worth a try sh trying, right? Worth a shot trying. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. That's fine though. As long as they defeat Sidney Yi, I should be fine with uh, Monk Wall because most of those troops that are coming out there are Sidney Yi's troops.
Alright, so if you use down. Heavens, do you also scorn my genius? No, all I have left is Sal Sal. I mean I could always go for Sal P, but you know what? I'm not going to. I really don't think it's necessary for me to go for Sal P. That's to deal with Sal P and Sal Ren. Anyways, here's Sal Sal. So far, so good. That took out a massive leak guard I needed to be taken out. I'll use a Musu attack just to get troops out of the way. You know, maybe I should have mounted the horse before doing it, but that's fine. He's down. And that's a win. All right, so that's another one down, and we still have two more to go. I'm sorry, three more to go for the uh, other forces, and then we still have um, five more for the edits. So we're getting there. We're down to the last eight. Anyways, that took us 18 minutes and 49 seconds. Not bad. That's kind of normal for me anyways. Uh, items, I doubt we got anything good. Nope. Even if it's the battle of Shu Chong, it's still going to be one of the earliest stages. So, well, it's technically the third stage. Anyways, we have a KO count of 253. Our weighted opponent count is 15. Uh, 14. Ah, I don't know why I did that there. Um, and uh, we only missed Sal P. Sal Ren and uh, Shin Pi. And uh, we have a good 5,650 points. Not that it matters because uh, Zhu Rong's running is at max. And we've got 66,000. Well, I don't even know why I go points or same points, but anyways. Weapons. So here it hit back. Here it is, the Infernal, and has, has an attack power plus 53 lack. And just like any other level 10 weapon, if you're using an elemental warp, you can use it even if your Musu gauge isn't filled up all the way. So, anyways, before I fuck up even more, the bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. We'll save and. There you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures, Fusion Dynasty Warriors 4, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll go and unlock another level 10 weapon, and the next one will be Yuan Shao's. So, peace out.